So, were you involved in the use of deadly force? Not lately. Substance problems? Problems at home? Didn't the captain tell you why I'm here? No. Why are you here? Well, not because I want to be. Please, sit down. These sessions are very informal. We can just talk about anything you like. That's a nice picture. It's my daughter, Melissa. She's six. Oh, I have a little girl, too. She's uh, going to be nine in about a month. So I take it you're not a priest? Episcopal. We get to have a little fun. She's the best thing in my life. I envy children. I envy their innocence. Yeah, me too. But that's a Chinese thing, right? For stress? Huh? It's, um, just keeps me in the zone. <laughs> Close up magic. I bet your daughter loves that. I don't know. I just mostly used to entertain myself. Uh, listen. Could we, um, reschedule this for s some other time? Because I, I haven't gotten much sleep. How about tomorrow at 10? Oh. Okay, sure. Thank you. Take care, detective. Dr. Gregory said that he envied the innocence of children, but staring at the faces of a thousand missing kids, envy is the last thing you feel. All I felt was rage. Children are the only sacred thing left in this world, and most of these little ones were gone for good. But not the kid I was looking for. That child was still alive, and if I could just keep it that way, I knew it would be the best thing I'd do in my lifetime. Hey! Hey, yourself, detective. What's a freaking problem? They found your snitch. 